Here we are, man. Loveland, Ohio. Now, last night I got in. John gets into the office at like 7 a.m. All right. Being that I was going to get in at like 1 a.m., I'm like, you know what? I'm just getting a hotel. It's like 80 bucks a night. The Hilton Garden Inn up the road. I love it. You get free breakfast. What time you pay for breakfast? It's like 20 bucks. You know, it's literally like $60 for a night. A good night of sleep. So I got to sleep in until like 7.30 because I need my sleep, man. I'm getting old. And now I'm headed to the office. Now, last year I spent damn near probably over 210, 220 days in the office. I was there Monday through Thursday every week. It was, it was insane. And we got a lot done, we got a lot accomplished, but this year with our focus being what it is, I'm able to work out of my home office, which has just been absolutely amazing as far as the amount of work I'm able to get done without any distractions. So, I'm in the office today, my partner and I are overlooking some, some investment strategies, and um, also have meetings with my staff and everything, and I have to be there once in a while, I am the CEO of MTS Nutrition, CMO of TigerFitness.com. So I'm there to get things done. Now, when I come into the office, I have a pretty you know, uh, straightforward approach, is that I'm not gonna get much office work done. A lot of it's gonna be meetings, a lot of it's gonna be working with people. I sit at home in my office alone with music on all the time. So my goal right now is to get a grasp on what's going on in the company, make sure we're all on the same page, and get things, um, get things going. Now, what, the obstacle it leaves at home is that Katie, as she did last year, for over 300 days is alone with the kids so like we can't split things like for example Thomas is sick today so Katie's got to stay home now with the home gym there's the beautiful part Katie's able to actually get her workout done at home which is just great and advantageous for what we're trying to do but I have an event tonight at 7 p.m. at Tiger Fitness HQ an open gym so I'll be there for that so it's gonna be a late night and um, and that's what I live for but you know I like doing this it's part of what I do but to do it every day like I did last year was a little bit much so I've scaled back and kind of balanced things and it's actually helped the company so with that said today is an office day will I be filming much in the office no because I'm not gonna stop this in the middle of a meeting and do a selfie video you know but I will give you updates throughout the day of what's going on and uh, and all that good stuff but just realize with anything hard work is required so driving six hours after a day at the soccer field is what I do it's part of what I do it's part of who I am it's part of the company it's why I love what I do so uh, with that said I'm gonna go say what's up to the people in the warehouse it was our first long day out in the Sun and Cammy didn't have sunscreen on hey yeah look at me oh my gosh Cammy girl so now she knows that it's her responsibility she even has Rodan and field special face Sunscreen, very expensive. Look at me, let me see. Wow. Mommy's left arm's a little burnt, but I had sunscreen on. Does it hurt? No. Okay, look at me again, say cheese. No. Look at me. <laughs> so it's Monday morning and um, Thomas is not feeling well. He has been um, fighting off a sore throat and cough, but he played three soccer games this weekend, and I think it just finally wore him out. So he's staying home today. Hey, buddy. Look at this poor man. He just doesn't feel good. So what does that mean? That means that um, I'm taking Preston to daycare, and then I'm coming home, and I get to use our home gym for the first time. So this worked out well. Um, I am going to do my home workout. I was supposed to go to my mommy lunch today, but I'm gonna have to miss that because Thomas is home, so no big deal. And Mark is in Ohio for a couple days to catch up on some inner off inside the office work at Tiger Fitness. So mommy's gotta make it happen at home. I'm actually looking forward to using the home gym. I'm gonna hit a chest bicep split. And then um, Cammy has soccer practice tonight. That gives me all day to get caught up on work and take care of little man right here. So today Thomas is home sick from school and Mark is traveling. He's in Ohio. Thomas is my cameraman today. So um, what a perfect time then to use our home gym for the first time. Today I'm going to do a chest and bicep workout. I'm going to start my workout with my normal pillow prep, pillar prep, which is my foam rolling, band work, lacrosse ball on my foot just to kind of get blood flowing. Um, we are in the basement, it's a little chilly down here, so I wanna make sure I'm good and warmed up before I get started. Um, I'll show you a bit of each exercise that I do, and um, hopefully it's just a quick home workout. You know, I, I still go to the gym, but when I need it, it's here, which is perfect. Um, I'll show you a bit of each exercise I do, and that's it. So I did my warm ups. I used this um, recovery roller to roll out my back, my lats, 
my calves, my legs, my glutes. I did some upper body warm ups with this band, mainly uh, a shoulder stretch to get my upper body warmed up. And then I also did some bands. I put one around my knee and my ankle and I did some side like this, back and forth, did forward monster walks, warming up with them. And then I also warmed up my hips with these. Next, I'm going to warm up with overhead squats. I start with just a wooden stick to get going and then I'll work up to the bar. So overhead squat, arms pretty wide, almost are, I uh, feel like you're bending the, the bar. Legs about shoulder width apart. Try to room here. Ready, set. <laughs> Good stretch down. With this, I'll do about 10 of these a couple times and then I'll work up to the bar. You can turn it off, Thomas. All right, so now I'm gonna do my overhead squats with the bar. Oops, I don't know, we don't have mirrors put in yet, so it's hard to see what I'm doing. exercise I'm going to do a barbell flat bench. I did a warm up with a bar and a five. I only have 15 pounds on each side. My upper body is not super strong. Um, I'm working out by myself so make sure the safety bars are set at the right height and let's do it. I'm gonna go for about eight to ten reps. Thomas just can't handle, go, watching mommy work out and not getting any lift in. I don't think he's ever done this before, so you're just going to try one. You're kind of off center on the bench, dude. <laughs> How's that feel? Is it hard? Pretty. Pretty hard? Building some muscle. Easy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he's just itching to work out, and I won't let him. <laughs> Isn't this home gym equipment Awesome. So this is courtesy of fitnessfactory.com and if you use coupon code Mark Lobliner, M-A-R-C-L-O-B-L-I-N-E-R, -E you get 5% off. That's a pretty good savings. So my next exercise is incline dumbbell press. Here we go. Next chest exercise is dumbbell flies. Get your feet at a good base on the floor in any chest exercise. So now I'm going to move on to biceps. I'm going to start with some curls. This one here. Shoot for 10 reps. Exercise, I'm going to do alternating dumbbell curls. I'm going to get 10 on each side. You can turn it off, Thomas. So that's the end of my home chest bicep workout. There's just so much versatility with this home gym equipment. Again, fitnessfactory.com for your home gym needs. Um, you know, it's 
going to come in handy when I've got sick kids at home or if the weather's bad or over summer break when the kids aren't at school to be able to come to the basement, work out for 45 minutes to an hour and um, <coughs> just make sure that I get my workout in, keeping my fitness goals top priority <coughs> and my little boy who's coughing behind the camera <laughs> top priority. Um, so yeah, it's an awesome setup. I'm really glad we have it. It actually coordinates really well with the basement down here. So um, yeah, check it out. So I just spent probably the last hour or so on the phone with our health insurance company and three different doctor's offices, and I'm gonna tell you why. I have three different bills. One was from Minute Clinic when Preston had his ear infection that they showed that it wasn't gonna be covered. One was from a dermatologist visit for Cami um, for checking out a skin rash, which they covered last year, but now this bill was saying they weren't covering it. And then I have a bill from uh, Quest Diagnostics from um, after Mark's vasectomy where they tested his vas deferens for cancer. Um, so on all of these, the insurance hadn't covered stuff and I thought that was kind of weird. So I did some research. Yes, it took time, but Minute Clinic is covered by insurance. I called them and they didn't, um, bill the insurance properly. So they have to resubmit that. That was a $129 bill, bill that had I just looked at it and paid it, I would have been out that money. The next dermatologist bill. So I knew that they were under my insurance, but I guess they use the physician assistant's name to bill the insurance instead of the actual main doctor at that office's code or something. So it came back as denied. That was a $200 bill that I would have had to pay had I not looked into it. And then the Quest Diagnostic bill, I don't know if they're gonna cover that because permanent sterilization was not covered by our insurance. However, this was not part of that. It was a separate test. So they're gonna rebuild the insurance and it may be covered. So just a little lesson, whenever you get medical bills, make sure you look at them very, very carefully and be familiar with your insurance. It's super complicated. I hate insurance. But um, know what's covered, what's not covered, and know what doctors are in network and not because that can save you a lot of money. If you just pay these bills, they're gonna take your money. They probably would have never known and I would have been out probably over $650. So just a little tip. So I'm looking at my email this morning. I get a mass email from one of the other sites that sell supplements that you're just a number to, right? They were bragging that one supplement line was free shipping. Bro, if you order over $99 in product in the continental US, any day of the week, free shipping anywhere in the US, at Continental USA. Free shipping on orders over $99 at tigerfitness.com. Why even look at the other guys? And also, we ship from Vegas and Ohio. Most places in the US are a one to two day ship. And that's not a game.